Today, I would like to share with everyone how to set up the Smart Lazed SLX after you receive it. First, prepare a space to fit the lathe, chip conveyor, oil mist collector, and servo bar feeder. The first step in installing the lathe is leveling. Now I have a leveling box. It is mounted under the lathe and secured with bolts. The height is adjusted by turning the bottom part of the blocks. This is the side of the lathe. After placing the coolant tank, we just need to install the coolant pump here. The coolant pump only needs to be connected to the hose. The power is already wired at the factory. After inserting the chip conveyor into the lathe, it needs to be adjusted the level. Use a forklift to lift the chip conveyor. Adjust its level by turning the bolts, and then tighten the nuts. The power socket for the chip conveyor is located at the back of the lathe. There is also a switch on the chip conveyor. It must be turned on for the CNC system to control it. The oil mist collector only needs to be placed in the reserved. Mounting position above the lathe and secured by tightening three nuts. Then connect the hose at the bottom. There is a power plug for the oil mist collector on top of the lathe. Simply connect it. These are the oil return pipes. It should be inserted into the machine. On the other side of the lathe, you'll find the power switch for the oil mist collector here. Now it's time to connect the main power supply for the lathe. From left to right, they are L1, L2, L3, and PE. After connecting the wires, we use the multimeter to check the voltage. The protector will only supply power if the phase sequence is correct and the voltage is within the specified range. After confirming the power supply is correct, we can turn on the lathe. When the machine is powered on, an alarm may appear. Don't worry. Just return the C-axis to its reference point to clear it. Let's first test whether the basic functions of the lathe are working properly. The lathe is working fine, so now let's begin installing the cutting tools. The steps for tool setting is quite easy. Start by setting up the Z-axis first. Use MDI mode to enter M3S1000 to start the spindle turning. Then use the MPG to move the Z-axis bringing the tool close to the workpiece's end face. When the tool can cut the workpiece, go to the offset page and enter Z0. To set the x-axis, we need to turn the outer diameter of the workpiece. Measure the machined diameter and enter the value into the corresponding offset. The lathe is now ready. Next, we will set up the SW65 servo bar feeder. The position of the servo bar feeder depends on the lathes, so we need to fix the lathe in place before adjusting the bar feeder. 
For easy adjustment, we've prepared a set of tools for each bar feeder. Attach them to the end of the bar feeder and the lathe spindle, connected by a thin string in between. The servo bar feeder mainly needs adjustment in two directions. The first adjustment is height. The string must pass smoothly through the spindle bore and the bar feeder channel without any bending. The second adjustment is coaxiality. The string should remain straight without bending or touching anything. Now, the position of the servo bar feeder is properly adjusted. The next step is to install the bar pusher. We have prepared different diameters pushers to accommodate various products. Now we can power the servo bar feeder. Its power is also supplied by the lathe. You just need to plug in the connector. Let me show you how the servo bar feeder operates. This is the rear pusher channel switch button. The bar material is first pushed into the rear pusher channel, then the channel switches. Then we can switch to automatic mode and start the automatic operation. The servo bar feeder will push the bar material all the way to the end. The pusher decides whether to stop or continue, based on torque. If the bar material is too short, bar feeder switches to the front pusher channel and uses the pusher rod to keep feeding. Now, the servo bar feeder is ready. Let's begin testing the lathe and bar feeder working together. They need a program to run together. Of course, we have got that ready for you. You can find it in the CNC Systems Program Library. The preparations are complete. Everything is set up. Now we can switch the lathe to automatic mode and let it run automatically. When the bar material runs out, the bar feeder will eject the remaining material. Then the bar feeder signal a material shortage and automatically start the bar replacement program. At this point, your machine setup is complete. This is how our smart lathe plug and play. Thank you for watching.